Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about uh, Andy Cohen's show, what, Watch What Happens Live. He had uh, co-stars on there from the Real Housewives of Atlanta, uh, Candy Burris and Shamari DeVoe. They were lit. They were nice looking. Uh, I gave um, Shamara more props. She was just more uh, business casual um, with her wardrobe and candy. I guess she's still stuck in the dungeon somewhere with that little outfit. But basically, Andy started talking with her about, you know, being on Celebrity Big Brother and all that stuff. And he was giving her kudos for that and was wondering how her and Tamar are. But now Andy's kind of shady. He's always been shady. That's his whole show. Even when he's interviewing uh, the Real Housewives of Atlanta when it comes to their reunions or whatnot. He's very short with the ladies. Very snappy. And I don't understand it because he don't do that with the other shows. Uh, Bra um, Bravo host with the um, Beverly Hills. Potomac. New Jersey. I mean, he, he just be real snappy with the Real Housewives of Atlanta crew. But anyway, he went on to say, uh, say you know, did you get what you needed? He was talking to Candy uh, from Nene and however y'all were talking on the last episode. She said, no, me and Portia, we didn't get what we needed. I definitely didn't get what I, went, I needed from it, but it just is what it is, you know. Then he was kind of talking to Shamar about her drinking problem. Do he really think, do she really think that she's a drunken mess? And Shamar just pretty much got him told, like, I ain't no drunk and I ain't no mess. I just like to drink. And I'm pint-sized and I drink heavy uh, loads of liquor and it just don't agree with my sample body. And I'm like, go ahead, get him straight, Shamar. Get him straight because he going to come for you every last time. Then he was being shaded about Eva's wedding. Uh, but before that, he was talking about Nene and all this and stuff about what had happened with the cameras filming in her closet. And, you know, he was asking Hannah about, did she see uh, Nene take the belt off of Portia's uh, dress? And she said, Portia told me that. I didn't see any of that. I said, okay, go ahead, Candy. Don't give him no ammunition because then somebody's going to be wanting to do something else. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to be a friendship that's going to stop between her and Portia and you. But anyway, um, it, it was it was okay. It was pretty much okay. But then, you know, Ed went to start asking the ladies, you know, how they felt about Eva's wedding and was it worth a thousand dollar plate and Candy was trying to play you know both fences she didn't want to say nothing that's gonna uh have her have next have to explain herself but Shamar said I ain't standing that mess now nah, that wasn't worth no thousand dollars of course they didn't let us see what they had to eat Candy had read off of one of the little uh guest cards or whatnot that they had sitting at each table what they were gonna have and reels were on the menu so, all right then but they could have got that from Joe's rib shop or, or, or something. Or could have went to the old lady gang and got some ribs if they sell them, which I don't think they do. But anyway, uh, could have got, you know, Hodges rib shack here in Atlanta or something. Or uh, uh, that's, this is it, barbecue. Uh, and she would have got lesser. She would have saved money on uh, the issue of a thousand dollars a plate for one person. That's ridiculous and outrageous. And Shamar said, uh uh, that wasn't even worth that. She looked like she wanted to say something else, but she held her on. But you know, uh it is what it is. Um but Shamar just answered it for us. No, it wasn't worth no thousand dollars. And I don't really believe she paid for no per personal thousand dollar plate. And if she did, I'm gonna have to show her uh where she can get recoup her money back if she could, but you know, she can't. You know, it's just been spent, and the food probably was horrible. And you know, it just is what it is, you know. Then, uh, they were asking, and it was asking Candy and and, and Shamara, did she really feel, um, Eva had a, a, a good wedding or whatever? And she's saying, well, you know, it was good, it was nice, uh. 
It was a boho, like she dressed on every other episode. It was elegant. And, and I liked it. I liked it. Then they had a little poll about who had the best wedding between all the housewives of Atlanta. Of course, you couldn't put Portia in there because she ain't had no wedding, but she will have one. But I'm sure it won't be as extravagant and well out there like Candy. Candy, of course, won that battle on um, who had the best wedding. A uh, fabulous wedding, and she was like all uh, competitive about it. I'm like, girl, <sighs> we know you went over and above, okay? We know you went over and above, all right? Having all those circus animals out there scaring people. And Lord knows if they would have got loose, ooh, candy, you were taking a chance. But you like to live wild, you like to live wild and dangerous, so I give it to you. Um, Then, you know, again, Annie got on Shamar again by her drinking. And thank the Lord he didn't have no cocktails for her because I'm sure she would have partaked of it. And I hope Candy was driving her home or it was an Uber waiting for her after the taping. Uh, then somebody called in uh, asking Candy, you know, whatever happened with her and Todd adding on to their family. Did they go on with the surrogacy or, or what's going on with that? And Candy's kind of trying to talk. Um, downplay it pretty much but she did give us the go uh the green light that yes uh they hired the, the lady uh excuse me to be their surrogate and yes they're in the process of hoping in nine months they'll have a baby boy or a baby girl okay so candy can put that to rest and hopefully you know move on from you know having babies and just that and the third uh, but I guess, you know, it, I don't know, Candy might want to have a, a whole village, I don't know, high, high end, or, but Riley might have to, you know, pull her to the side again and say, okay, can I have my inheritance now, but don't look like you're going to have too much, you keep having all these babies running around, around him, okay, we already got Kayla, and then we got uh, Ace, that's enough, and then you're trying to bring in a few more, I don't know, my inheritance might be gone, give me my money, mom. But that's probably what uh, Riley going to be saying later on. Give her about two or three more years. I'm sure she's going to have a lot to say. Um, then, let me see. Then Andy would be in Shady with the next episode coming up. Uh, Eva seemed to be having some financial situations going on. And her people, or people she, I guess she thought she could trust. They're trying to tell her business on camera about the house that she living in. Ain't really her house. She really broke. Um, she old people. Um, you know, got you got bad credit. Just a lot of you know rumors and negativity and and, and bad mouthing going on from Eva's camp. So, uh, they're looking like they don't know nothing about that. But it's gonna come up in the next episode of the Real House Southwives of Atlanta. Oh, excuse me. It's next week, so we're gonna be looking looking forward to that because it seems like. Or uh, Eva can't handle the uh, kitchen anymore. Done got hot for her because everybody coming down on her about the rumors and this, that, and that, and why she would throw a uh, all extravagant type, elegant, over royalty type of wedding. And you know she is leasing a house, and then you know Candy on the next episode she's talking with Eva about it. And she's trying to be, you know, kind of confused about you living in a rental property. Then you're talking about you finna go to another rental property. I mean, baby, don't you want to buy some? I mean, your husband, he ain't got no good credit. I mean, he want to run for a polit politician. You want a public office? Oh, my goodness. I, I don't see it. I don't see it, y'all. But anyway, moving on from that. And then I ended was uh, asking Candy, you know, how you feel about Nene unfollowing all of y'all itself for Shamari. <laughs> I said, you mean Shamari and Marlo, honey. She ain't giving up on her Marlo, okay? Because Marlo have too many open avenues that she can pursue if, in fact, she decides she want to give up on Greg and their marriage, okay? She ain't let Marlo go for nothing. And Marlo knows she can start some uh, feces in a minute, in a heartbeat, okay? So she might not have a peach, but she's a peach in my book, okay? She's an honorary peach. Because Marlo be bringing the drama and then stirring the pie all in one. 
But uh, can't say I don't care. If she don't follow me. <laughs> it ain't gonna hurt me because I got plenty, 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 plenty of more people that are still there and more coming every day. So if Nene feel like she needed to unfollow me, okay. And I might have to unfollow her, but she didn't say that. That was just me being missy. But uh, y'all, that's all I had for the uh, Tosh was having lives with uh Andy Cohen. Like I said, he always be. Shane these ladies and he would cut uh candy off every time she tried to answer a question in its entirety. He just want a real quick snippet of it. Like, are you still mad at Nina or did, did you get everything that you wanted to say to Nene with the incident y'all were going through about being in her closet? And she told y'all not to get out of her closet. Candy go to say something, but he cut her off. It's like you want a candidate to say, yeah, she got mad. I got mad. It's, it's, it's a done deal. You know what I'm saying? He wanted her to be just real quick to the point. But Candy was trying to, you know, make a a, a good, uh, give a good answer uh, in its entirety. And Andy was just cutting her off. Like, I, I don't want to hear all that. It's either yes or no. Like, we in the court. And, you know, uh, the prosecutor or the defendant or the prosecutor might be asking you, uh, how you feel about a certain situation or were you there at a certain place and, and, and partaking of the situation and they just want to know yes or no they don't want you to elaborate or give a, a, a synopsis of what you think uh, should have happened or gonna happen they want you to answer yes or no and that's pretty much what Andy was trying to give me uh, as a viewer how he would treat his guests I mean Shamari she definitely got her answers out and in full and, and in, in its entirety she was just quick uh, fast and to the point because she know how um, Andy operates and people probably don't told and she don't watch the show too so I don't understand Candy done been on I don't know how many times and she still get hung up on him just uh, running over her and rushing her so I don't know, but that's what um, and the show is all about. Uh, stirring up pot for the next episode that's gonna come on and gearing up for the next season. And he do his job very, very well. So that was my um, take on the show that aired tonight. Shamara was holding her own. I was so proud of her. I mean, a little uh, want to cast her as a little drunken person or a drunk, a lush, you know, and Marlo's playing into it too and that's just pretty much uh unfair to label this young lady uh like that i mean she liked to have fun you know she, this is her first uh i think season on the real housewives of Atlanta. maybe be her second one i'm not really sure but you know she's coming into her own and she definitely came in better than candy came in you know but it just is what it is you know more some people are just more uh, friendly to the camera, and they can express themselves a little better. Uh, just coming out on the on the scene, so she's getting her practice. Uh, definitely with interviewing and um understanding how to answer a question real quick to the point, depending on your interviewer, and that's what Andy wants: quick, fast, and a hurry. Cause he ain't got but thirty minutes, and then he got commercial time. I gotta be you know paid sponsors to sponsor his show. So, um, it was interesting. Very interesting. So, that's all I got for y'all. Um, if they back on, watch what's happening live again. You know, I'll cover it. Because Shamara's kind of rubbing off on me. I'm kind of liking her. So, I mean, I wish it was a way we could have all the ladies on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And, you know, even if they had to get cut, you know, some, some money just to have all of them being aired. You know, the brain Phaedra back, brain Kenya back, brain Kim Zosiac back, Deshaun Snow, um, uh, Lisa Wu, um, gosh, I can't remember anybody else. Oh, Sheree Whitfield. Uh, you know, everybody just had a time because everybody gave me a chuckle here and there, uh, somewhere down the line. And, you know, just see what it is. And the ones that seem to be hanging on the strongest is um, Nene. She ain't going nowhere, no time soon. So we might well get used to seeing her. Because she's going to ride this choo-choo train out until they say, Nene, we don't want you no more. There's nothing you can give to us that you haven't thought about giving to us in, uh, in the previous and past episodes. And we just don't feel you anymore. You know, they're going to have to get rid of her. Because Nene ain't going to get rid of herself. 
not intentionally. She ain't going to let that uh hand get cut off her neck when it comes to this Bravo reality series. And I take Candy to be the same uh, way because uh, Bravo has definitely been very good to Candy. And um, uh, that's a lot of her being able to finance uh, with this being her main source of income to finance all these other things she's gotten going on. So, you know, I'm proud of her. Do what she got to do. Um, wish she wouldn't be in the um, sexual seductive type of industry. But, you know, if that's what's making money out there now, I guess she got to go do what she got to do. But it just is what it is, y'all. Y'all take care, and I'll see you soon for something else. All right. But until then, be safe. Uh, love on each other. And I'll see you soon. Good night.